Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy September 18th. And thank you all for wishing me a happy birthday. I'd like to thank you all. I was almost, uh, there's so many of you that uh, try to say as much as I can, but thanks everyone. It's a beautiful day. I gotta tell you guys a funny story. Um, what happened to me this morning. And some of you were in this morning. So, you know I opened up the room um, around 8 a.m. I was in this morning around 7.30. I was doing some shopping, looking for some stocks. So, you know how we play the music? So, um, all of a sudden, you know, I thought somebody was playing a joke on me. It started playing Happy Birthday. So, like, I never heard, out of, I've been doing this for 25 years. I've never heard on the audio player, on, these, uh, on, on the uh, live radio stations, played Happy Birthday. And, you know, I would have to say, I probably think it's an angel of my mom. You know, obviously, you know, my mom just passed a couple of, uh, just uh, two months ago. And I says, you know what, I bet, I, bet that was, uh, I bet that was my mom wishing me a happy birthday. It was the weirdest thing I've ever heard. And, it, you know, if you guys believe in, uh, believe in angels, uh, you know, guardian angels, I would have to say it. Just want to kind of share that with you. I thought it was pretty cool and pretty interesting. I showed my wife. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was pretty funny, too. But anyway, anyway, thanks guys for happy birthday. At least you believe in angels. I think we all do, you know. Especially when you lose somebody so close to you and such a uh, so recently too. It's kind of hard. But um, but anyway, guys, thanks a lot. And we're gonna get right into talking about what's going on on September 18th because today not only it is the greatest day of the year because it's my birthday, but it is a couple of things that are going on um, that are happening in the market. First of all, today is sundown of Yom Kippur. Um, it is the most religious holiday of the Jewish community tomorrow. So I'm not expecting it to be a very exciting day. A lot of uh, Jewish people do uh, are in, uh, here on Wall Street. And you know, it, it just in general, when markets slow, you know, we don't wanna trade, we don't wanna get crazy. There are a couple of stocks that are moving and we'll definitely look at some of the stuff. But, um, but overall, just be very careful today because I'm not really, you know, feeling it. There's a couple of stocks that are all moving this morning, and honestly, a lot of them are expensive. Now, the big thing a lot of people are talking about is the UVXY. One of you just mentioned me earlier, what is a reverse stock split? Well, this is a double short. It's the biggest um, ETF short, I believe, in the industry. And uh, I told you, I, I actually bought this ETF as an insurance policy, you know, just in case. It was really cheap yesterday. I think I paid seven bucks for it. Well, honestly, I didn't know they would do a reverse stock split. So what it means is that um, stocks have to be at a certain price. They'll reverse stock split to make it make it very attractive in the market. You know, so when they get so cheap, especially anything on the five bucks, uh, stocks obviously can't be traded by mutual funds, whatever. So they keep doing reverse stock splits. Have to reverse stock split, to reverse stock, stock split. So if you look at the UVXY, you're like, well, I don't remember. UVXY trading at 150 because it did so many reverse stock splits and if, and I showed you this yesterday if you go back on the um, if you go back and look at my uh, yesterday's yesterday's um, recording you could see right here the stock with all the reverse stock splits um, is about what five million dollars so this thing has been reversed over reverse over reverse over reverse over reverse over reverse but it does move it does move you could see. You know the stock did go from like ten thousand to forty five thousand because that because you're implementing all the reverse stock splits. But the stock can move very very volatile, and if you're a little concerned about the market, you know, listen, yeah, it was cheap yesterday. Move reverse stock split, you know, buy whatever it is. It's another way of trading an option. So there's some way to kind of protect your longs. You know, if you don't want to do an option play of a leap or something, you could do an ETF like this, and that's what they're really good for. But that's what's going on regarding about that stock, because um, some of you are asking me. Now let's get into the exciting part and see what's going on in the daily markets, because there are a couple of interesting stocks that are moving. Uh, first of all, so we got the UVXY out of the way. The the V KTX. Okay, so this stock um, just had a huge gap up right now. Obviously, you can see it's probably a pharmaceutical drug. Probably came out with some pretty good, something pretty good. And you can see the stock is doing really, really well. Uh, pop, but it's kind of flatlined right now. It also has warrants on it, 
and uh, the VKTXW, but you don't want to trade warrant spreads. Spreads are really big. People always ask me, what's the difference between the stock and a warrant? Um, before there were options, there were warrants. So stocks are like, it's just the kind of rules that allow you that you can't do uh, voting shares and stuff like that. It's just another way of people making money with warrants, not owning the stock. But uh, Ben already did pretty well. Cholesterol, is that what they came out with, Ken? All right, well, cholesterol's big. And uh, Ken already made money with us. So give him a round of applause. 35 cents. Good for you, Ben. All right, so let's go look what else is moving in the morning. Um, the INO, you know what? I got pretty close on buying it. But from watching the stock, um, you know, we've been doing really well with that stock. I saw it testing some major resistance levels yesterday. If it broke that resistance level, I was consider buying it. But she started to make a little bit of a move this morning. So I don't know. Something's going on with the stock. I want to keep an eye on it. That's going to be on our watch list. The T-L-R-Y, what's going on? How you doing? Look at this though, killing it on this one. You know, I mean, I sold it cheap. What is what it is, at least I could say I was in it, but uh, I know some other people are still riding the wave and this thing is just nonstop. And you know, I said this yesterday, if you remember, when a stock trades like this for a long time with this amount of shares, um, that is a good, that's a very bullish sign. When you trade something like the NIO that we traded, and to trade that many shares went up so went up so much faster in TLRY, but came back down and never held. That is what you know as what's called a short squeeze, you know, with all these algorithms going on. But this TLRY, you know, obviously people do like it, you know, and uh, it's holding pretty strong. It's not like the elephant that we talked about that we trade with all the blockchain stuff and all those uh, cryptocurrencies. RDCM. Is that coming up? No, I'm, I'm sorry. MDGL, that's the one. So here's the stock taking another huge hit. You know, listen, you know, I'm not a fan. It's very expensive. You know, but the stock gapped up from 100, went to two, uh, two, uh, 320. Now it's coming back down. It's filling in the gap. You know, it's a level five stock. So, but you know what? The trend is down. The stock we could, looks like a probably a nice little short. You know, we had a lot of good shorts yesterday. You know, and shorting looks like where it's at right now. I mean, listen, the GOV was a great short yesterday. Look at that, 16, only down to 13. We killed it. You know, it's not something we found in the pre-market, but it did show up afterwards. NT and X, another great short. You know, that one went from 53 down to 47. Now it's just coming back a little bit. I'll throw that one on the watch list, the NT. And X, maybe you'll get a little bit of a dead cat bounce. I mean, that's not the end of the world. But, uh, oh, the, it was the TNDM. That was what it was. And that one also took a, got destroyed. I mean, I said that one I probably liked. That one got killed. So anyway, that stock you could see has been having such a great rally from 10 to 50. And, uh, you know, listen, quick winner right there 30 minutes great short 48 to 40 and guys that is what we train for that is what we do and why you got to be aggressive early in the morning because we only some people always ask me you know how many hours you have to do this well i don't know you tell me how long it took you to make you know forget about the eight points you could have made at least a buck on that trade you know so you got to be aggressive early make your money and run and that's what it's all about and then uh you know in the middle of the day there's something there, they're there. But overall, if you make your money, I would just take money and run. All right, uh, anything I'm missing, guys, I did not call out? Charles uh, Charles uh, Rosenau, he said he traded, did good on that short. Roseland, I'm sorry, Roland. He traded ETSY, did a good short. He said he made a day's pay just on that one stock. Let's give him a round of applause. All right. So anyway, guys, uh, once again... Be very, very careful today. It is, you know, we're going into a uh, a holiday, which is tomorrow. The market is open. But um, I expect it to be kind of slow going into this afternoon. I think it's going to be really, really slow. All right. And uh, so I'll be really, really careful what's going on. But a couple of good things that are going on also. Remember, we have uh, Traders Talk that's going on today. And then also the new cycles of all the phase one, two, and three are starting. So guys... Take the time, don't worry about it. The stock market, I guarantee you, is not going out of business. So don't worry about it. 
be in class. That's where you spend most of your time. That's where we learn what's going on. That's where we focus on how to get prepared. Remember, if you guys like football, where they do most of their work? It's not on Sunday on TV. It's Monday through Saturday. And that, and that Monday through Saturday starts today. So make sure you're in class, all right? You got to learn before you can earn. All right, everybody? And uh, just one last, and, and, and yes, and, and Dana also, be very careful. Uh, I've got to mention the China tariffs are also going to be kicking in. So that I want to see how that's going to be affected uh, in the market too. And that's one of the reasons why I'm a little skeptical on what's going to happen. So you might find a couple of little uh, vol some volatility going to this market. Classes are going to start at 1030, an hour before the market opens up, James. All right. All right, guys, let's get to let's get to work. Let's get ready to open. Remember, whatever we find this morning doesn't mean it's not going to dictate we're going to find something uh, going when the market opens up. There's always new ones that do pop up. So let's see how it goes. And if you see something, say something. And hopefully your new members are enjoying yourself and having fun. Just look, listen, and learn. Happy trading, everybody. And enjoy class today.